All right, so the first episode uh, this week, 432 of Fighter and the Kid, it was an interesting one. <laughs> uh, so, uh, to kind of break down what happened, uh, just a quick summary of the episode. Uh, so, Brendan gets fixated on a lot of gay subject material, kind of usual uh, <laughs> topics such as necklaces and Teslas, uh, which is kind of just the usual stuff. Uh, but then later, uh, they get into this weird story about uh, Brendan just breaking out crying uncontrollably. Um, I guess it was from a time when they smoked DMT. We'll talk about that more. Um, <laughs> DMT has been uh, the butt end of pretty much every joke online so far for the, like the last two months now because of Rogan. So it's kind of funny to hear that come up uh, in this podcast. And then... Um, yeah, and then pretty much right after that, Brendan talks about a brain tumor that he has, that he's had for a long time, um, which was a little weird to hear, just kind of brought up like that. And then, uh, yeah, and then in a different video, so it wasn't in the Fighter and the Kid video, but a different video that Brian made, he made kind of an announcement about 10-minute podcast um, and some new things going on. So some exciting stuff going on this week with Fighter and the Kid. Uh, so it, the episode kind of starts off a little awkward, it felt like. Uh, they were talking about the Super Bowl and Brendan kind of calls out Brian on where he went to watch the Super Bowl. Play. Did you watch the Super Bowl? I watched the Super Bowl. Not surprised the Pats found a way to get it done. Very hey, impressed with hey, the Rams hey, defense. I'm stop you. Yeah. Did you watch the Super Bowl? I did. Oh, where okay. at? At my place. By yourself? Actually, at my sister's place. What am I saying? Oh, you went to your no. sister's? I was my sister. Oh, kids, weird. Everything. Yeah, your place or your sister's? I don't know. That my was kind sister's. of weird. It seems like... Uh, I did watch it. You did? Brian I watched the whole thing. Brendan uh, going to watch the Super Bowl party, which was, uh, you know, I don't know. <laughs> uh, seems like it caused a little bit of tension in the beginning. Well, luckily, that went away, though. Uh, that was only like that, just the very beginning. But it was a little awkward seeing him, like, calling him out like that. Um... But, you know, I don't know. They just have that kind of weird dynamic. Hopefully it's not him doing it in, like, a mean way. But then, uh, anyways, <laughs> let's move on from that. That was just a weird thing that kind of came up. It, it just, you know, within, like, the first few minutes of the episode, I thought uh, that came up. And it just seemed a little awkward of an interaction between the two of them. But anyways, so they get on talking about Super Bowl. And they get on the topic of... The guy, the what's his name, Adam Levine, wearing a necklace during the Super Bowl. I guess I don't like who. I don't know who would notice that, but they did, of course, and brought it up. And to, uh, Brendan's take on uh, on this necklace is let's hear this. Or the pretty chains, cool. pretty cool. Chains were a little short. For little, my short life. little short, little short, little short, little thingy. Look at this. I'm cool. I'm yeah. hip, gangster. Yeah. This. Yeah. I'll suck your dick. Well, I don't mind about that. I, this it, it's a little well. Suck. That's a that's a choker. This, bro. That will okay. So now we have Brendan's take on what uh, on how how a male should be wearing a necklace. And so what's funny though is that the same week, Red Band was on JRE on Rogan's podcast, and the same subject of necklaces came up there as well. <laughs> Because they were also talking about the Super Bowl. A lot of the same topics kind of getting covered uh, this week because obviously it's all kind of just, they all kind of cover the same current events. It was kind of weird actually hearing uh, all their different takes. But so let's hear, uh, let's hear Rogan's take on, on necklaces. That but it's a, it's a, it's a weird thing. It, it, first of all, if it's, if it's big enough, it's like this target, right? If you have like a big old gold necklace, people want to steal it. All right. There's a lot of necklace snatchers out there, Brian. I don't know if you know that. Yeah. But then the other thing is, uh, like, what are you doing? What are you doing with that big old shiny thing around your neck? What are you doing? What are you, a chick? <laughs> so, I don't know. What are you doing, B? You chick now? Huh? You gay now? Uh, Daddy Rogan calling you out on that chain. So, <laughs> and apparently... Joe, this came up in both podcasts, uh, with the Red Band one as well. Joe apparently got a Tesla now, and it costs him exactly this much. Oh, and here's the best part. 
we're dealing we, he and i have different cash flow i do well but i go how much did it cost and he goes he doesn't know he goes i don't know yeah, he doesn't know <laughs> that's when you got cash when you go i don't know yeah. man rogan just has that serious fuck you money i mean i looked up the car what he has optioned like just basic options so it's like a hundred and twenty thousand dollars for it. i don't know that's whatever it just showed up <laughs> uh, that of course explodes into a whole rant about why brendan you know can't get into um he can't get into the tesla right it's electric it's only for gay dudes obviously and uh <laughs> But I'd be willing to bet my paycheck that says in six months he's got a Tesla. Now that Rogan has one, and then constantly hearing it from Callan as well. But now that Rogan, especially, now that he has one, there's no way Brendan doesn't get one. And that's the whole reason why he bought a Porsche was because, oh, Joe has a Porsche. So now I like Porsches. Now I'm a Porsche enthusiast. I'm an expert on Porsches. He's just, it's so obnoxious. He goes into this long rant about talking about Porsches and what a expert, a domain expert he is on. And it's just, I don't know, I guess like if you're into cars and then you hear someone like him talk about cars, it's really annoying because he knows, like he knows what's in the advertisement brochure that you get at the dealer. And that's like the extent of his knowledge, you know? Uh, so I don't know, we'll see what happens um, with that. I, I'd be willing to bet, yeah, he, he'll have a Tesla soon. Now that now that Rogan's got one, but I don't like it. The way he acts about like the car stuff, it wouldn't be so bad if he wasn't like mean about it. Like what he says to to Brian here. No, no, no your engine's bullshit. Not mine, dude. Listen, You're, I'm sorry you know, to do this. You might as well be talking to me about the Chinese they pipe, government. They you know much in, about that they as pump you do this car. Like, I mean, you don't have to cut the guy's character down. Like brian probably knows about as much as brenda does about cars which is nothing at all <laughs> you don't need to like shit out him for because you're an expert i guess on cars ah, whatever you know uh this kind of caught my attention as well <laughs> wouldn't make a fucking ding on my car <laughs> uh i don't i kind of wonder how people feel about this uh brendan kind of just like ripping off other comedians like catchphrases i mean i know like like it's not really a big deal but he's like kind of the only comedian that you ever really hear doing like doing that kind of stuff like ripping off other people's like catchphrases and i've, I've heard comedians talk about this like like rogan's talked about this a lot of just like new comedians when they're getting their start trying to find their voice and a lot of times they'll like imitate essentially comedians who they like look up to who they want to be like um they've talked a lot like rogan's talked a lot about imitating like or kind of like doing the whole like andrew dice clay thing or like the david tell voice apparently that used to be everybody used to do the david tell kind of voice and kind of that kind of act i guess but yeah i don't know brendan's kind of well known for doing that i mean i think it's fun we all do it but we're also not comedians like I'll make those jokes, like, uh, and, like, use those catchphrases or whatever, just, like, with my friends and whatnot, but it feels different when it's a comedian doing it. I don't know. I don't know how, you, how other people think about that. It's, it doesn't really matter. It's not like he's doing that in his stand-up. I would assume that seems like where that crosses, like, for a podcast, it's like, it's kind of like, who cares? But I see people all the time online talking about it, so I figured I'd bring it up and just see if anyone has... Uh, what other people's opinions are on that because maybe what i'm seeing is just like uh just like a small echo chamber of people who are just like oh this is wrong you shouldn't do this but really it's probably more like who the fuck cares you know <coughs> oh, excuse me i'm so sick <coughs> oh man but uh yeah so i don't know all right so they get into this goofy ass story about bmt and it didn't really make any sense at all in the beginning until they finished the story. And basically, it's about a time when Brian and Brendan smoke DMT with, um, with a, I don't know, whatever the person is that does the ayahuasca stuff. But, uh, but they bring it up because all of a sudden, Brendan mentions about how he was crying like uncontrollably over Tim Kennedy, the MMA fighter. 
And it didn't really make sense because it was like, well, he hasn't fought in a while and he's not really doing, he's just doing his thing. Nothing like has changed, nothing's going on. Like, where did this come from? Why, why, is, why is he crying about Tim Kennedy? Like, what's going on? It turns out this happened like four years ago. I don't know why this came up all of a sudden. All of a sudden he just brought up, oh, that's why I was crying that one time. I was like, what? Why did this even come up? It was really bizarre. I don't know. Maybe... Maybe I just didn't pick up on it right away, but it wasn't until the very end of the story when they reveal that this this is something that happened four years ago. I was like, oh, okay, that's weird that this, it sounded like this happened last week, but I don't know, that, I never heard of them, either of them doing DMT before, so maybe I'm just out of the loop, but, <clears throat> and that's why I didn't know, but man, I would love to, who wouldn't want to see a fight companion or not necessarily a fight companion but just all of them hanging out at like rogan studio just smoking dmt and then doing a podcast just brian brendan eddie <laughs> and joe just hanging out get high at dmt and do a podcast <laughs> oh man i don't think i think that would be probably one of the best podcasts ever i mean like sober october ones get big when they all come together but this would be on another level. <laughs> All the crazy shit that would come out, especially if it was a live podcast too, like they usually, like Jerry usually does. Oh, I don't know. That would be great. <laughs> so people need to call that out, bring that to their attention, get that happening. <laughs> you know, let's make this happen. Uh, then Brendan brings up the he apparently has a brain tumor. I guess he's had it since like birth. And he found out as an adult going into football or no, going into MMA, I think he said, uh, he had to have a physical done, whatever. They run scans and shit. And apparently, yeah, he's just has a brain tumor. I'll play a clip. Yeah. A baby tumor. Is it near your pituitary? Maybe that's why you're such a giant. No, I'm not like Bigfoot Silva. Mm. He sits in the back here. Oh, a little baby tumor. Yeah. He said, if it did flare up, I would have issues. <laughs> oh, yeah. They can't remove it though. Game Cause, over because you'll die. Fires up. Yeah, that's what he said. So that's why sometimes you go. I don't I'm think I'm gonna dire. live very long. That's why I say that. Yeah. Yeah. Now my family knows. They didn't know it before. What? Homeboy has a tumor. A baby Give it tumor. Up. <laughs> Give it up for tumors. <laughs> oh, so Brendan handles it. I mean, really well. I mean, damn, like it's the guy who go walk around every day knowing he's got a fucking brain tumor. Um, it's not. Uh, or it's benign, so it's not something that's going to kill him, of course, which, you know, thank God for that. Um, but yeah, that's wild. Like, holy shit, they just got kind of just dropped it like it was no big deal. And then he even says, like, and so now everybody knows. You know, apparently, it sounds like a lot of his family didn't even know about this. So it's kind of crazy that he just dropped that just on the podcast like that. But I don't know. I'm really glad to hear that it's not. A serious thing at first it's like whoa what you have a brain tumor like uh, so yeah good thing yeah you know it's nice to hear that it's not it's not gonna like affect his life um but other than all the jokes that aren't gonna be made about him having a brain tumor <laughs> i'm not gonna go there i'll wait for other people to go there and make those jokes <laughs> um all right and then now the best part of well it wasn't even from this podcast i seen it online is that apparently 10 minute podcast or some form of 10 minute podcast is coming back um here i'll play this clip of brian making the uh, i guess announcement and I'll, I'll give some context i'm about to go record a 10 minute podcast no actually um a fighter and the kid we're actually thinking of reviving a podcast, Chris, myself, and Will. Not not the 10-minute podcast, but something really cool. But shh, mum's the word. <laughs> Why is it going to make it weird, too? God damn. But, okay, so it's not 10-minute podcast, but it's similar to 10-minute podcast. I mean, 10 minutes, nobody wants just 10 minutes. We want more than 10 minutes. If you're getting to get Brian, Will, and Chris in a room together... 10 minutes is a teaser, you know, like that's not enough. That's a clip. That's a clip. 10, ten minutes is a clip. Uh, let's get a three hour podcast with three. Oh man, with the three of them. How fucking great will that be? Uh, so that's, I mean, that's huge. That's a very exciting news. I mean, 
that's what we all want. That's what everybody wants is like fighting the kids cool because we get to see Brian doing his thing and whatnot. But seeing Brian doing his thing with Will and Chris, sorry, Brendan, but you're just not really a draw compared to them. <laughs> but that's all I got for this one. Thanks. I would cut that dude's head off with a knife. Play that trailer, Chin.